It was an unusual Republican national convention, as in a break from political decorum, it took place at the White House, which is government, not party property, surrounded by a maskless crowd that didn't observe social distancing guidelines. That's in stark contrast to the Democratic convention, in which Joe Biden delivered a short speech to a mainly empty auditorium. Biden had described the Trump administration as a darkness taking over the country, so Trump hit back. America is not a land cloaked in darkness. America is the torch that enlightens the entire world. The president then falsely accused Joe Biden of wanting a shutdown and vowed that a coronavirus vaccine would be available by the end of the year. Despite having one of the highest fatalities in the world, he congratulated his administration on the handling of the crisis. Not a single American who has needed a ventilator has been denied a ventilator, which is a miracle. Good job heading the task force by our great vice president. Thank you very much, Mark. Please, please stand up. Trump lauded his pre-pandemic record on jobs and the economy before focusing on a key issue of this year's campaign, the at times violent protests sweeping the country. Trump did not mention George Floyd or any other victim of police violence by name, but vowed to stand by law enforcement. We have to give law enforcement, our police, back their power. No one will be safe in Biden's America. My administration will always stand with the men and women of law enforcement. The president said that he wanted to unify the country, but many of the hot-button issues he addressed are likely to be as divisive as ever.